designed a new type of improved outer tactical vest uh, for uh, small statured female soldiers. Uh, and today what we're doing is we're finishing up a two-week human factors evaluation where we've had our female soldiers uh, wear these new vests through uh, various different military events such as obstacle courses, uh, long rucksack marches, uh, we're at the rifle range today. Uh, and our goal is to really stress these vests and figure out uh, what works and what doesn't so that we can further improve the design before we move forward with larger scale production. Feels like a dream. <laughs> I um I can I'm more physically able to do the things that I need to do as a soldier in the U.S. Army. Um, one of my jobs as a soldier is to be physically fit and ready for anything that happens. And with this vest, I am not hindered in any way, shape, or form of doing so. Older body armor, which was mainly designed for a, a male uh, body shape, uh, the shoulders were a little too wide, uh, and the adjustability was not there in order to fit a female soldier. And so what you ended up with, although it provides full ballistic protection for the female soldier, it's not as comfortable. Uh, it's harder to move around because the length of the vest is, is a lot longer. The bottom was so heavy and didn't fit, it would clank up against my hips. And it would cause my hips so many bru so much bruises. It wouldn't fit my ribs, and it would cause my, bru my bruises on my ribs. Um, injuries: females have their um, their center of gravity is in their hips, and it would rest on their shoulders because we would just fit differently. What I have it's it's made for my body. It's made for shorter people. It's made for people who still want to perform at their best, and you know it doesn't hinder them at all.